My name is Megan Gans. I am a writer for the show Community, and uh, I'm 28 years old. Well, um, <clears throat> first season, I was just the biggest fan. Uh, I, my friend um, Donald uh, got hired when I, I used to live in New York, and Donald got um, cast on the show. And that's how I heard about Community was, oh, my friend is going to be on this show. That's great. And so I started watching it um, first season. Really liked it. Fell in love. I told Dan that I fell in love with it when Abed said, um, this is just like a TV show, except that then somebody says something they never say on TV, like this is just a TV show, Some, something like that. I'm butchering the show. But uh, but when that happened, I was like, oh, this is my new favorite show that's ever, I I'm, 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 must watch all of this uh, as soon as it comes out. And then I watched all the episodes multiple times, and I just became obsessed with it. And that led me to start following Dan on Twitter. Uh, and because my friend said, this guy is saying the craziest stuff on Twitter. You have to follow him. He, he's the creator of that show. So I started following him and got to know him over Twitter. And then I moved to LA for other work reasons. And when I was um, out here, I stalked him to a Channel 101 event and went up to him and just started talking about how much I love the show, which is like nonstop, and that I was looking for a job. And uh, he said, um, I asked him if he had any advice for me. And he said, uh, uh, how old are you? And I think at that time I was like 25 or something. And he said, uh, you should take a nap. Uh, that's my advice. Go home and take like a real long nap and just settle down because you're, you're very young. And, uh, and so then, but I told him that I was going to be submitting to the show. And then I, I did. And I met with all these people auxiliary to the show to try to like, get an interview and when they finally told me that I did have an interview with Dan um I think I probably had the worst interview possible because I mean the best interview for him but not what you're supposed to do because I I came in and uh I just talked for like an hour straight and didn't let anyone else talk about how much I love the show and how amazing it was and how they have to keep doing it and how it doesn't matter what anybody tells them it's the best show on television and never stop making it and I just like went on this whole because I figured that was gonna be the last time that I ever got to talk to anybody that made the show and so I didn't even like say I'm a good writer and I'm a good employee and here's the reasons that you should hire me it was just all like you have to know that what you're making is the greatest thing and uh, and um, left that meeting uh, then waited for like two two weeks to try to figure out what was uh, like they kept saying it looks good it looks good and then uh, when my agents actually called me to tell me that I got the job I was taking a nap I think it was through Twitter right that you contacted me through Twitter um, and uh, uh, that's how I heard about it and I thought it was a really great idea because um, we love the fan art and we like uh, look at it all the time at the show and it's really impressive and it's gotten more impressive with every year and it feels like the hiatus that we went on uh, was just a reason for everyone to like double down on their uh, fan art uh, um, efforts and it was something that really kept us going when we weren't pre our art that we were making wasn't being shown to anybody it was really cool to see that people still loved everything and were still making art based on what we had done and were giving it back to us so it still felt like there was a dialogue between us and the fans that usually we would get by putting up episodes and seeing their reaction on Twitter so um, it really like after the going through that hiatus when I heard about this art show I was like that's that's a really amazing it's a really amazing idea because um, that it is so much a part of the show that they care about it that much and that they make all that fan art and uh, and it, it is like the lifeblood of the show, and it, we wouldn't have gotten through this year if we didn't have that many like fans doing that stuff. So it seems like really great to celebrate before we go into this fourth and maybe final season. <laughs> it's really good to know that um, that we can celebrate and that they know that we like know about all this art that they're making and it means something to us. So I think it's a great idea. So like any typical day in community, we'll be there for anywhere between 10 and like 30 hours in a day. Uh, and so there's a lot of, there's a lot of um, creative conversations going on and uh, Dan, having a conversation with Dan is almost always like really deep and keeps you at the height of your intelligence level. And so for me, I'm, I've always been a, a learner who um, has to be moving around and doing things. I've always been a busybody, like I, I fidget like crazy. And the best way for me to think of ideas is to go on like a really long walk. And I can't obviously do that on the show. So I had to find a way to kind of like 
exercise my brain while in, in one very specific um, rote, uh, repetitive way while so that I could focus on what he was saying because if I'm just trying to focus, my mind will wander um, and I can't leave the room every five seconds. So I started doing these little doodles and I'm not very artistically talented as far as like I can't draw a house. Like there are people on the show that are like cartoonists and they can like draw cool like little characters and they can, if, and I am not able to do any of that. All I can do is really like repetitive circles or like um, things that basically no person would sit down for long enough to actually complete, like covering a whole page with really tight spirals. And, uh, and so I just started doing that. And at first all the writers were like, that makes you look kind of crazy. And I would hang them in my office and they were like, it's kind of intense, like seeing all of these, it looks like a person losing their mind on uh, legal pads. And, um, and so I, uh, after like the first year, they just started getting used to it. And then it was kind of like my thing in the room that I was always staring at a piece of paper. And I think everybody could tell that I was still paying attention, even though like, because that's the, that's the way I pay attention better is when I do that. So, um, so I, so I've been doing those and then my hand, uh, sec uh, third season, my second season on the show, my hand started like cramping up like crazy when I would do them because it was just getting, it was like the, I don't know, my, my hand was just giving out. And, uh, and so then I started doing origami and then that got really elaborate. Everything just gets really elaborate. Like whatever I start doing at community, I have enough time to focus on. So I have lots of, I have lots of photos of me and I'll have like my legs up and I'll have a legal pad on my lap and I'm doodling and Dan is in the background and I'll have like a series of shots that take over the course of like five hours where he'll be more slumped down in his chair typing and my doodle will be like expanding across the page. And that's how I like keep time, I guess, when, when the hours are like flying by. Um, so yeah, that's how I, that's how I started doing that. And then I, I started posting them as a joke, uh, that they were work notes just because I thought it would be funny if people thought that they would like be able to tell about the show by like reading my work notes, my meeting notes. And then, uh, they would open them and they'd just be like this insane thing of doodles. I think that community inspires a lot of fan involvement because the show itself is so malleable and it's sort of, uh, every, every episode is like, what are we going to be today? It's like sort of dressing up and putting on a costume. And, um, I think that people like, I think that it invites other people to give it a go. I think, um, there's so much imagination like built into the show. I think there's so much like childlike, uh, whimsy and, um, and, uh, yeah, Im imagination inventiveness. And I think it inspires like something in people that, that you felt like when you were a kid where you just wanted to make stuff with your friends. You just went out with a camera and like reshot Indiana Jones in your backyard because why not? And uh, because you love that thing. And uh, when, when we do all these homages to other things that we love, other movies, other TV shows, other genres, uh, I think it inspires people to then look at our show and say, well, you, I feel that way about you, so I'm gonna do an homage to you um, by making this fan art or making this fic fan fiction or, or, you know, whatever. Uh, uh, there's been, I've heard there's been inspector space time conventions. So we've inspired people to all get together to talk about a show that doesn't actually exist. That's within our show. That's amazing. That's like, it is an incredible thing. Uh, and, uh, and I don't know, I hope we, whatever it is that makes people feel like that about the show, I hope we never lose it because I think that's the, that's the thing that's, that really resonates. I think that's the thing that people are going to, remember about the show for years later is like what their feelings were when they were watching it and how how much it made them want to like talk to other people about it and, and share those things um that's what that's what in entertainment is supposed to do it's supposed to bring everyone kind of closer together i mean i always liked mmm no no juice Ooh, that's some good no no juice I really wanted to be on a show where there was as much heart in the show and as much emotion as there was um, laughs because uh, I, I really like writing jokes but empty jokes with no purpose or just kind of like I don't know what the point of that is and so I really I always loved that the show had these heartwarming moments that would sort of make my give me goosebumps and make me want to like hug the person next to me uh, that was always my favorite that was always my favorite part about community